this video, I'm going to show you how to add and edit your CRM users. To do this, you'll need to be a system administrator so you can access the user settings. Users can be either the people at your organisation who can log into the CRM system, or they can be holding places for accounts that are not being dealt with by a specific person. For example, marketing. You can have as many users as you like, but to access the CRM, a user must be set to live. To add more users, first check how many you're permitted within your CRM subscription. To see this, go to Settings, then open Manage Subscription. Here you'll be able to see how many live users you already have and how many licenses you've available to use. If you've reached the limit, you'll need to increase your user license. You can do this by opening the Change Plan and Options page and clicking the user plus button. In the plan breakdown below you will see how this affects your subscription fee. To confirm the change click save changes to plan. You can then create your new user by going to user settings and opening the user management tab. Here you'll find a list of your current users and those that are live will be indicated with the checkbox. Click add to create a new user. Complete the user record, remembering to check the live box, and set what reporting access you want the user to have. Then click to save. The new user will receive an email with a link to activate their account and to create a password. If you want to edit a user at any time, simply click on the username to open the account. If you want to reset a user's password, you can generate a reset link from the user record or the user can do this without admin access from their own settings options. To reduce your user licence, first check how many live users you have and edit as necessary by opening the user record and unchecking the live button. Then back in Manage Subscription, you'll be able to reduce the number using the minus button. Then save. That's it. For more help in managing your users, do take a look at our Customer Support Hub.